Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today um, I'm going to do a spiral pour. I haven't done a spiral pour for a while and um, I'm going to play with these colours that I've invented. So what have we got? We've got um, the Reno Art Crimson Red mixed with the Reeves Deep Yellow. And I'm going to go with the 50-50 and the 33 red 66 yellow. Then I'm going to do the same combo, 50-50 and 66 yellow, 33 red. Um, with the cobalt blue and Reeves yellow. And then I'm going to throw in some copper, some titanium white. And some of this Mars Black, 25% Mars Black and 75% of the Cobalt Blue, which comes out like a really dark midnight blue, almost kind of like a Payne's Grey, but not quite as grey. So to start this off, first of all, we need to um, get our base of white on there. I'm gonna Swish that around. Now this is household acrylic paint. Um, this particular batch is brand unknown. It was gifted to me by a house painter friend of mine who had some left in a couple of pots and combined it and gave it to me, which I thought was very kind of him. Um, So all my paints today are mixed with Floetrol and water and um, this has only just been recently mixed up so it's still got some air bubbles in it um, and some chunky bits. So. Gonna get those out and I'll be right back. Alright, so our next step is to get our pouring vessel and I am going to be using one of my tins. Um these I worked out are about 120 mil, which is, um, for those of you that work in fluid ounces, is um, 40 fluid ounces. No, four. Not 40. Four. So, I'm going to be starting... Um, Starting with the dark and moving into the light. Um, <laughs> almost sounds biblical. How does it get any better than that? Um, so I'm going to put white in the bottom. And then... Uh, do, 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 do. And I'm going to put some of the 66% yellow. Then I'm going to put some silver. And then some of the 50-50. And some more silver. And then I'm going to go with the 66% yellow green and then some bronze, copper sorry. And 
and then 50 50 grain Ooh, that one's quite thick a little bit more bronze and then some of this Mars black 25% cobalt blue which I'm also going to put a puddle of that right in the middle can you see my puddle nope that's scrape that one out so we've got lots and lots and lots of that in in there but not so much starting the pour ah that's not supposed to happen all right i just spilt dropped my cup so let's get that out of there now i have noticed that the This paint that my friend gave me dries a lot faster than my spring from Bunnings. So I do need to work a little bit faster. Ugh. Out, damn spot. Right. So. gonna pour a spiral so we're going to start in the center of the spiral uh, now as you can see my paint's a lot thicker than most who do this technique and it all just going blah 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 blah. How's it getting a bit of that? It's so pretty. Now. Let's Spread it. This is a bit of an interesting process, this whole spreading the spiral. Trying to get it to spread evenly has never been my forte up until now. What would it take for that to change? Now the 50-50 orange in the middle there is looking quite pink. But definitely seeing some cells. going to torch it next see if we get any more cells coming up plenty of air bubbles showing up I 
just had no anus. You know what? Any cells that you can see have been created by the difference in the viscosity. Because the only one that's got any silicon in is the silver. <laughs> How's it get any better than that? You know what I'm really liking is the way that the edge has done that. Um, funky. Bit. And what I'm liking about that is it actually looks like the crust on the edge of the geode. How many of you have been to a crystal stand at, an art, at a show or into a crystal shop or at a health shop or something like that and just stared at the layers within the, the geodes? It always used to fascinate me. really liking the way these colors are working together they look fantastic fantastic and the silver's definitely brought some cells in um, but only a few I'm interested to see how much cell actions going on out there on the dark blue though so this has got absolutely very little sil silicon in it and with all the copper and silver I think it's going to come out really funky So let's get you down and show you what I see. Do you see what I see? Okay. So this is the funkiness that the white does. But I'm really liking it. It really does look like that jaggedy crust on the edge of a geode. It actually fits with this painting, so that's cool. Happy to have it there. And then we've got the rings and rings and rings and rings. All oh, that beauty. So once that's dry, that's going to be all shiny metallic copper and silver. With the orange in there and the greens. Not, can't see that much variation between the two different greens, but you can definitely see the difference between the two oranges. <laughs> I like it. Check this bit over here out. Hey. <laughs> Alright, well, I really like it, and uh, Hope you'll stick around for a few more minutes until it's dried. <laughs> a few minutes, a few seconds of your time, a couple of days my time, and I'll show you it once it's all dried. All right, see you soon. Well, I'm pretty pleased with the way this one's dried. Um, it hasn't moved at all, and it's looking pretty, pretty, pretty. So, 
I like it. It's very different. Uh, yeah, it's super pretty. So there you go. That's what that one looks like. Thanks for joining me for these videos. I really enjoy hearing your comments and um, receiving your points of view and what you see in the paintings. So if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Remember to hit the bell so that YouTube notifies you that uh, I've posted a new video. And if you want to let me know your point of view, go ahead in the comments. Cheers. Bye.